And that man needs to pull back a little bit. So give him his space, ladies. I'm telling you, just give him the space. Don't fuss. Don't try to figure out what's wrong with him. Don't pick and pry. And listen, do not do the pity party and don't compare him to your exes. Y'all know we bad at that about comparing a man to our exes. No, don't do that. Encourage him. You can encourage him. And maybe you can speak on his language. Do you know your man's language? Oh, that ought to be another topic. But, you know, learn your, your man's language. Learn his body language. You know, um, I have with my boyfriend sometimes, you know, he, he'll pull back too sometimes, but I, I learned how to pick up on his body language that whenever he gets really tense, that means he's going through something really bad and it's really deep and bothering him. And instead of, you know, just harassing him and saying, well, pay me some attention. Give me this. You ain't doing this for me. You ain't doing that for me. I'm going through too. No, don't do that. You ain't got to do all that. All you're going to do is make the situation worse. So what you need to do is just step back and realize that it's natural for a man to just back off a little from you. And it's okay. You know that's your man. Y'all trust each other and you love each other. So let him be him. Let him do the man thing that he needs to do without you so that he can, when he does come back through out of that little phase, when he does come back through that he, he can love you and, you know, y'all can just enjoy one another. So that's your relationship, 411. What to do when your man pulls back? Do nothing. Do the opposite of what you are thinking. I know you're thinking, let me get all up in his face. Oh, he got a woman. I know he's seeing somebody else because why he going to do me like that? No, sometimes men just pull back because we talk too much. So don't. Think it's strange if your man pulls back, if he wants to spend the day in bed, let the man rest, especially if he works, let the man rest. All right, y'all. So that's the relationship 411. And again, did y'all love that music line of Judah all the way from South Africa, Botswana? If you like to go ahead and hit it up in the chat box. And y'all, um, my midnight snack for tonight is actually nothing. I'm not eating no nothing tonight. Can you believe that? I ate a big salad earlier, so I'm not eating nothing. But if you have a midnight snack, you can always hit it in the chat box, either here on Spreaker or on iHeartRadio. And, y'all, we're going to go on and move on down a little bit. Who can I bring on here? How about the Supreme Seven all the way from Florida? In the book of Matthew, the 27th chapter, starting at the 27th verse, it speaks of the crucifixion of Jesus. And if y'all don't mind, can we tell his story? Listen. They never. They nailed his feet. They nailed his feet. Still, all the while, he never, no, 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 he no. Never. Oh, no, no, no. He never. He never. My Savior never said a mumbling word. Said a mumbling word. word. That's not all they done to Jesus. They pierced the side. Can't you see Mary standing at the feet of Jesus? After they got through torturing Jesus, 
They laid him down They laid him down In a tomb
right. Heaven is where I want to go. Y'all, heaven is my goal. And I hope that heaven is your goal too. And if you're sitting beside someone tonight, how about reach over and hug them and tell them that you love them? You know, some of us don't have nobody beside us. All I got is Aaron opportunity. <laughs> All I've got is Aaron opportunity. So my hug of the night goes to myself. But if you're sitting beside someone, go ahead. It's okay to show your affection toward one another. Okay, y'all. So it's time for our help segment. Oh, gosh. So many people these days are being diagnosed with cancer and and I mean, all different types of cancer. Really, there is no one common kind of cancer because everywhere you turn, um, it's somebody always got cancer somewhere. So we're talking about the men's health tonight here in the Midnight Love Garden because we want our men healthy. And men, please, I know you're listening. So please pay attention to these signs, these early signs and symptoms of cancer. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so cancer cancer is among the most common causes of death in adult males in the United States. While a healthy diet can lower the risk of developing certain cancers, other factors like genes can play a larger role. Once cancer spreads, it can be difficult to treat. So knowing the early signs and symptoms can help you seek treatment sooner to better your chances of remission. So here are some of the early symptoms of cancer in men. Now listen, y'all. Miss Coco finna get nasty. <laughs> yes, I am. For the sake of love and life, I gotta get nasty with y'all. Okay, so some of the early symptoms of cancer in men include bowel changes, rectal bleeding, urinary changes, blood in urine, persistent back pain. Did y'all know back pain? Ongoing back pain that just continues on and on. Unusual coughing, testicular, lumps, excessive fatigue, unexplained weight loss, and also lumps in the breast can be signs of cancer. So y'all, those are your signs right there. So let me tell you a little bit about the bowel changes. Y'all, this is gospel, right? And this I always call this part gospel explicit. <laughs> bowel changes. The occasional bowel problem is normal, but changes in your bowels may indicate either colon or rectal cancer. These are collectively called colorectal cancers. Colon cancer can develop in any part of your colon while rectal cancer affects your rectum, which connects the colon to the anus. And um, some more signs of that could be frequent diarrhea and constipation may be symptoms of cancer, particularly if these bowel changes come on suddenly. These problems also may occur with frequent gas and abdominal pain. A change in the caliber or size of your bowel movement may also be a symptom of cancer. The number two thing is rectal bleeding. Listen, folks, don't be shamed. If you got some rectal bleeding, go on to the doctor. Rectal bleeding may be an early sign of rectal cancer. This is especially concerning if the bleeding persists or if you're found to have low iron, I mean, have iron deficiency, anemia due to blood loss. You may also notice blood in your stools, although there are other more common causes of rectal bleeding like hemorrhoids you shouldn't try to diagnose yourself if you're having these symptoms talk to your doctor about your concerns you should get regular colon cancer screening starting at age 50 so y'all hear that guys it don't matter what color you are if you're 50 years old you need to start getting your um colonoscopies and stuff at the age of 50 and the third thing is urinary changes in con in con Consistency and other urinary changes may develop as you age. However, certain symptoms may indicate prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the most common.